Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn AI powered test automation using Selenium MCP, GitHub Copilot, and VS Code. So let's begin. First, let's understand about what is GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot is basically an AI coding assistant that helps you write code faster with less effort, allowing you to focus more energy on problem solving and collaboration. So, what are the key features? The first one is that get code suggestions as you type in your ID. Chat with the copilot to ask for the help with your code. Ask copilot for the help using the command line. Organize and share task specific context with the copilot spaces to get more relevant answers. Generate a description of the changes in a pull request. Create and manage collection of the documentations called knowledge bases. To use as a normal context for the chatting with the copilot. Work on the code changes and create a pull request for you to review. And it can do much more than that. And now let's take, talk about the Selenium MCP server. So that's by Ng Jones, and this is the official GitHub account for this one. And you need to scroll down here. You see our monocontrous protocol server implementation for the Selenium web driver, enabling browser automation through the standardized MCP client. And here you see the features like start browser sessions with the customizable options, navigate to the URLs, find the elements, click, type, interact with the elements, perform mouse actions like hover, drag and drop, handle, keyboard input, take screenshots, upload files, support for the headless mode as well. Supported browsers are Chrome, Firefox and MS Edge. And in order to use this one, you can go with the manual options, you can go with this configuration. Right now what we'll do is that we'll be using this command. So basically let me open the VS code and now before that what I'll do is that let me create one new folder and let me name it as Selenium MCP Demo. Now, what I'll do is that I'll simply open this in my VS Code, open folder and Selenium MCP Demo and open this one. Now, once you have opened, you see that my GitHub Copilot is already signed up here, and you can see this chat over here. If you are doing it for the first time, what you need to do is that you need to go to the extensions over here and search for GitHub, GitHub Copilot, and you need to install these extensions, right? So, by default, if you install this GitHub Copilot, it will automatically install the Copilot chat. You need to create an account and sign in. Once you are done, you will see this chat over here. And if it's not open, just go on the top here, click on this one, it will show the chat here, and similarly from the bottom here as well. Okay, so uh, once you have uh, this one, so you have a copilot in the VS Code, and you have to configure the Selenium here as well, the MCP server. So in case of play right uh, in my one of the videos, we just simply went to get up their repository and click on installing for the VS Code and it installed automatically in the VS Code. But here in this case, if I go to the browser again, so there is no such option to install that in the VS Code. That's a problem. So how you can do it? So basically, if you go here go to view go to command palette and here just type mcp and we have an option of add server and we have a command so this this is the first option you need to use this is a manual installation of the mcp so you need to click on this one and what you need to provide over here is that you need to provide this complete command Okay, so you need to copy this one and you need to paste it over here. And after pasting, it will ask me for the name. So you need to provide the name. So once you are done, the Selenium MCP server is configured. And how you can verify that? The one way is that simply again go to the palette, go to the list servers. So you see that I have a Playwright MCP server and MySQL server. And these two are basically in the VS Code, and this is in my cloud desktop. And this server is stopped right now. 
Uh, but before starting this one, what I'll do is that I simply go to the extensions over here and time MCP. And here, what you can do simply what you need to do MCP server. And here we go to this one. So this is this this is basically a VS Code MCP extension. So this extension works along alongside with the Code MCP server to provide the native VS Code indication features. So you can use this extension as well. But I'm not using this one um, because uh, I don't need this one right now. Simply what you need to do is that simply go to the pilot over here and here go to your servers here. And what I'll do is that let me start this server. But before that, let me close this one. And again, let me open the command palette with servers. Just click on this one and then click on start server. So now it's starting my MCP, Selenium MCP server. There are 14 tools. And if I go here in my copilot configuration, so this is for the tools So click on this one scroll down and here you see that playwright mcp is also checked my sql is also checked and my selenium mcp server is there so if i click on this one you see all the tools are available right so simply we'll say uh open chrome browser and press enter and see what happens here. So it's using the Selenium MCP server over here. We can continue. And now I will say navigate to Orange HRM demo website. Press enter. And you see that it again utilizing this Selenium MCP server. Click on continue. And if I go to the browser, you see that it's navigated to Warren Sharm demo website and let me say provide username and password and let's see what happens so it's identifying the name and password the name and password and you see that it has provided the value and I'll say click on login button and click on continue so it will identify locate the login button and click on that one and you see that it's processing right now and it says okay it has able to find this one click on this one and now it has clicked on the login button now i say close browser now again, it will utilize the Selenium server. Click on this one, and you see that the browser has been closed. Now, now what we can do is that basically we we want to work on the robust framework. So what I'll do is that based on above, create a Selenium Python framework using by test and page object model and press enter. So what it will do is that based on the above interaction, it will create the page object model framework. And on the left side, you can see that we have these pages files, we have this test files. So it's still creating those ones. So we need to wait for this one. And you see that it's creating the login page file. And it's basically regarding to identify the username, password field, the button field. And this is the test where it's going to on a demo website, providing the username and password, asserting this one, and again going to admin. You know, admin is basically a username and password. So it's creating this one. So I'll say continue. Now it's asking me to use the Python environment. So let me select my existing. Uh, path here and click on continue and once that you see that it's installing the packages like pytest and in this particular project i'll say keep 
Now the whole project is set up and ready for the execution. But before that, let me see. So we have this test file, we have this pages file. So we have this configuration file. So we have all information. We have the readme file. So we have requirement.txt. So we have everything. Now what else do is that instead of writing a command to run this one, I will simply say run test and had it mode. So it provided a command. So I'll say okay continue. And it will try to run. And now here you see that we get some error so as soon as we get some error we also get to know how to fix this one to fix this one you should add an empty in it dot py file to both the pages and the test directories this will make them proper python packages and resolve the import error okay so i'll say add required File. I'm not adding the file. I'm just asking the copilot to do it for me. So far, I haven't write a single line of the code. I haven't created the folders. I haven't. I'm just, you know, communicating with the GitHub copilot and it is doing everything for me. So you see that it's creating the init file and working on this. The required init file has been added to the both pages and the test directories. You can now rerun your test. Okay rerun test in added mode and press enter now click on continue now this time you see that it's, it's executing our test and it got failed somehow so the test ran but failed because the synonym could not find the username fail this is likely the page is not being fully loaded before the test drag with the element to face this you should add the explicit weight for the password in this field. Okay. Add weights as suggested. So it will add the weights in the files. So you see that there are changes in the files. If I go to this login page, so you see that they have added the explicit weight automatically for these fields. Okay, now again, rerun the test in hardened mode. Let's see what happens now. So, click on continue. It's going to our Samda website. Provide the username and password. And it logged in successfully. At this time, it passed. So, you see that in this particular tutorial, we haven't write a single line of code we haven't even created the files doing any copy pasting stuff all work is done using this github copilot but ensure that you're using this agent not the ask mode okay and everything is done with agent copilot and cnm mcp server